The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Yeah, this is Friday, the 9th of June, and we're looking at the Dow quite strong, up 100 points at 32,930. And it was before dragging the others up. Now the others, have, we've even got a little bit of leadership here. We've got so the Dow is approaching in the weekly chart in the middle here. You see this inside track repellent zone. It's really important for us to possibly in this move now rather than have a pullback and then try to do it in this move go to the 34,300 uh, 257.84 level at point 84 it starts leg d in the weekly chart that would be really nice in the daily chart We've got, uh, we're getting to, uh, I anticipate, I said just subscribe to Mobile Call. We are long, aggressively wrong, actually. The uh, the Dow, <clears throat> I'd said that the 33,900s should be strong resistance. So we'll see if that's going to be the case. Uh, but the, all the technicals are really good. I only said that because traditionally, as you get to the uh, millennium level, the thousand point level, in this case, 34,000, just under that, you usually have some kind of resistance. So I'm going to be watching this very closely. Here's the other thing. Um, the, the price is way above the nine period moving average. The nine is way above the 14 in the daily chart. The MACD is very strong. Look at the aperture. Look at the, the distance between the, the faster moving green line, the nine period differential, and the slower 26 period exponential moving average. Look at the stochastic flat at 89%. In fact, it's increasing. It's really good. Look at the on balance volume. That blue line says it's lagging a lot. That means it's telling us that maybe we're going to fail like we did over there around about the 17th or so of May where we went to that peak A and then failed. Um, or it says, wow, why? don't get excited. Wait until you see the on-balance volume get overbought. That's the only the only technique that I use here for overbought and oversold levels on the technical indicators that you can see here. Uh, is the over is the on balance volume, and that that says it would go all the way to eighty something, and then you turn around. Well, that would take the the Dow all the way to the thirty four thousand two hundred, three hundred, four hundred level. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm just saying that's what it would take. And the relative strength, the little gray line there, all of it says the upward trajectory is still intact. Um, if anything, it'll just lose a little momentum to the upside. The weekly chart. Uh, the technicals are just okay. They're not really great, but the nine is over the 14, and that's good. Monthly chart as well. <clears throat> now, I just wanted to do this because I, I got questions about it. So in the S&P, the reason why very often you'll see me put in an alternate count, G slash C, and let me move that away, where the high today is 43.19.42. And this gap up is a gap up at, at recovery highs. It's really unusual. That usually gets filled at some point. It doesn't have to be today, but it does get filled. So what I'm looking at here is that the weekly chart, 43.25.28, remember that was my upside target. But if I did a measured move, I, I can change the measured move now because it's already gone in time and in price. It hasn't gotten there yet. And that would take us to the midpoint right there that I've used as a the dashed line. So let me just show you what I would normally do. Left side, right side, make that green. And that would say that it's still, we've already gone up. Let me just check it out. Yeah, that takes us all the way to the end of June, maybe even Ju in, in beginning of July. I find that just too aggressive. Not only that, we're within points of the 43,000 43.25 high that was made back in, I think it was in August of last year. So sometimes these work, but what has worked very nicely was the Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent line. And you can see it repelled the price, repelled, repelled. And even now, if I just move it over a little bit, you'll see that the angle of ascent in the diagonal move from this trough right here, trough E, 
takes you right to where we are. Look, there it is. Look, look. It's the, all those candles, the tops of the candles, all the tops of the candles, all the tops. So that just projectory says 43.25 is, is game in this particular move and then in the weekly chart. And what's really important is that the monthly chart has really moved sharply higher. It is now above the uh, uh, two, 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 three points. Uh, what is that? Two, three, six. Yeah, it's above the Fibonacci number. And we are, but the month is young. We, we, we just barely begun the month. So we're looking at positive action in the S&P. And if you look at the QQQ, it's a little different. It is good action but it's more in the rectangle. And it's saying, I, I'm kind of struggling here. And that puts us together with the SMHs, which are underneath the 151.71 high, but it is possible to make a cup formation. That all says to me, next week is key because I'm basing it all on, as I usually do, the Dow getting to at least a D, and then we have to analyze it and say, is this a pullback coming up? Or is this going to have a three-bar extension where it goes to instant restart? What's going to happen there? So all I'm saying is, we'll remain long. We'll like what I, I like, what I see, and we'll 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 keep maintain this this upward trajectory until we start to stall. Next thing is, um, uh, let's see, the four three one in the spy is about to get hit, Basil. Time to go into the SPXS. So um, no more guff. No, I, you know, I would wait. For instance, uh, this morning on the E-mini, I just drew this in because at that peak D, you see the MACD was turning. There's a one-minute chart of the E-mini. You had this unbalanced on on volume turn around. You had the stochastic drop under 80%. So I said, this is where I like to do my, little, my quick analysis, and I have to do it really on the spot because uh, we are looking at uh, a one-minute chart moving very quickly. So I drew in. Uh, the arch formation that said if we, this is the inside wedge target support line, but the nine period moving average was holding so well that I said, no, I've got to have a rectangle formation here as well. So there was no position. I've already been in and out of position. I'm done uh, with that for the moment because I'm doing the show. And I find it a little difficult sometimes when everything's not in place for me to do all the drawing, etc. So this now is this goes away. I, it can it start all over again. I could do it all over again. But this now is done because what's happened is gone into the rectangle formation. But there's a potential for a type of head and shoulders pattern here. So then I would say, okay, fresh start. If you're looking at some kind of a pullback, and remember when you have such strong moves like this, don't be so anxious that I've got to get a short position because the trend, look, the nine crossed over the 14 period moving average. Uh, way back at five yesterday, you remember we were talking about this. Oh, I didn't do that. Let me let me just do this right now. It's technical Friday. Let me just get into that. So that was this uh, this morning at five a.m. So what we're looking at is we did get to that D yesterday. Remember I said this could be a two-click session, and that's kind of what I want to be working on. I, I'm having like a, not a working vacation, you can call it next week. I want to be working on what are the technicals that I really look at that I can codify. And you remember I said. Is this this crossover here yesterday at 10 o'clock? The crossover takes one upside projection, meaning you click once for a buy and then you can put in a stop and you can poof, do whatever you want and you come back in the afternoon and you say, Where am I? Is it still above the, uh, uh, is the price above the nine? Is it nine above the 14? And yes, it was. And it went all the way to that uh, one o'clock period where it started to pull back and it did a one to one. This is the A to B equals C to D pullback. And but we have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Thank you.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So, uh, in the Champion Way methodology, we're always looking for the lowest low bar and count each successively higher peak. Am I talking to the music and it gets a little bit fuzzy? Let me just wait one second here. Hi, folks, we're back. So, in the Champion Way methodology, we're always looking for to try identify the lowest low bar and then count each successively higher peak, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that's six, six high, seven higher peaks. But most importantly, it's at that fourth highest peak, D, that other things can happen. Well, yesterday I said there's a really good chance that the 10-minute the, the chart of the E-mini is suggesting it could go to a D. Well, lo and behold, it went to a D. It went to a D right there, leg D at 4 o'clock exactly. Then it started on its way down. Then it made the, another rectangle formation. But look, that rectangle formation almost coincided perfectly with that 4290 very long term now. So I think it's now two weeks in the 10-minute chart that this dashed blue line has been in place. So and look at the 200-period moving average, how important it is. So it comes down, you know, the closer it gets, the greater the chances it's going to hit the 200. Bam, it hits it like a magnet. And then it says, you know what? You can try to take off, but it's going to take a little while to do that. So look what happened. Let's just move it across like that. Let's squeeze a little bit here. There you are. Okay. So look what happened. <clears throat> it went to that level. Uh, this is the one that, we, yeah, it went to that level, went to a peak A, then a peak B, pulls back and it comes back and it holds what? The 4290 level in the June contract, E mini contract, makes a cup formation. Then what I did, this, I did this just to type it in because I had a question about it the other day. And I said, oh, this is great. There's a stock that had it. I can't, I'll think of the stock in a moment. So in the Chapman methodology, if at a peak B, there is a pullback, and under it, you get even little troughs, but you haven't taken out the low, but you make a cup formation. In this case, it was very good, a perfect left side, right side price time match. If it can go above that peak B to a C, 
not only I call it a chaff weave cup and ladle ha a pattern, and that cup and ladle pattern says that there's a really good chance that it's going to go not just to a C but to a D, and it'll come back and retest the breakout pattern, and then you'll see what happens. Well, lo and behold, that peak B comes down. Look, the the nine period moving average is still holding beautifully. The MACD deflected lower, then went right back up again. Stochastic did the same thing, and look what happened. It went to a leg C for one bar. It pulls back, goes to a leg D. And then pulls back, and that D comes back down. And what does it do? It tests that left side lip that we were talking about right there of uh, 42.9750. What's this low right here? 90, uh, 40, 42.96.25. I mean, this is, I mean, really, huh? And then it takes off because the green 9 p moving answer. So don't be so anxious when you've got this kind of a bull face. Be careful about shorting. Um, even if you've got your, your symbols, know that you're shorting on a very, like a one minute chart because the 10 is still strong. If the 10, if your tide is going up, these little rip tides, little, little counter trend moves, treat them only as counter trend moves because the bigger move is saying, so far it's moving up on a very short term basis, it's overbought. But that doesn't mean to say it has to pull back sharply. It could just fill in this last candle, right? So, okay, I wanted to do that. So, a cup and what? Stock did. Oh, I remember. Um, cup, and, cup and ladle. Cup and ladle, I think, is. Let me just check the stock out. It's got so much. The stock has got everything for it. Well, every technique that I've ever discussed, I think. There it is. So, this is a symbolic. Uh, we are long from the 21 area. It's trading right now at 43. Uh, but we haven't got a, as big a position as I'd like, but we have a position. Um, yeah, I, I forgot. I'd written this in Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle, breakout to D. And that, that's exactly what happened right here. We broke out. Uh, we're along from over there. <clears throat> so we've gone through a P, a, a two peak Ds, a pullback, and a third peak D. This I'm calling E right now, only because I, the, the nine is hasn't even come back down. The MACD hasn't even turned down yet. Uh, Stochastic's still very strong. So I'll just continue the alphabet until we get to maybe a G slash C, or we start to pull back here. But there's the cup and ladle. So it goes, there's your peak D. It pulls back, goes peak A, pulls back. Peak B was underneath the 32.17 high of the 17th of April. And then it goes peak C, and then it goes D. What does D do? D comes back, retests the 32.17 level. And it takes off, and now it's on its way. The, this is, uh, I, I would never have expected that it could have. I said to subscribers, as we go in, I said, this one, I think, is is going to be in the sweet spot. This is going to be something that, at some point, it will become the meme, the, the the darling stock. It's it, No one talks about it at all, except me. And I don't really, I didn't want to talk about it, but I was asked about the Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle, and then I just remembered, this is what, the one on the daily chart. So there was another one that, that that purely accidentally I found the other day. Uh, was it Visa? Visa? Uh, no, Visa's. Was it Visa? Let me just put it on a daily chart. I can't even remember the Chapman Wave technique that. Oh, Chapman. So AXP. I know it was in the credit card note. A AXP is at a peak C, a nice cup formation. Uh, what's the, oh, MasterCard. No, nothing's coming up. MasterCard. This is one of those three. Come on. Oh, there it is. So I forgot all about it. And um, I'm looking at this uh, yesterday, in fact. the uh, Looking at the charts, I'm saying, oh, look at that. MasterCard is not acting as well as some of the others. And then I look at it and say, what's that? Oh, if I see pink writing, I always say, oh, that must be Chapman Wave uh, unconventional flat base restart or an instant restart. And lo and behold, there it is. So I typed in here. I'll make it a little bit bigger now so you can see it. Yeah, I forgot all about that. I wish I'd remembered that because it's such an important technique. Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. That, that explains the whole thing. It's a very long title, but the title explains the whole thing. And what does it do? It means that after peak D, you go within three bars to a leg E, and that E could be a E slash A. But after that E, it pulls back very sharply 
below the trough of D and then continues higher. And then it keeps coming, as long as it keeps coming back to that midpoint, in this case, the 370 level, it says, oh, oh it's got that te technique. I, 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 I'm very visual. I think I, I haven't watched the show for 10, 12 years or something. Well, Bart Simpson, you know, he's got that, that spiky hairstyle. I always think of that. So the spiky hairstyle says it's going to come back. And not only will it come back, it'll test or maybe even break this particular low. So I typed in um, Chubb Wave Unconventional Flat Base Restart to 360s. I should have put the date that I, I said that. Anyway, it was before... Um, it was somewhere in there. So it was maybe early early May. Here it is climbing away. The nine's over the 14. Everything looks great. Then it makes a peak D. Remember, peak D is where other things can happen. And what does it do? It goes from the 390s. It actually goes from 392 within, this is a daily chart, within a week or about a week. It goes down to 357. Took out the 360s level. And now it's started to wrap. So, uh, anyway, it was a technique that I just remembered, and uh, that's a technique. Here we go. Let's just look at this briefly and see if we've got our one minute turning down. Yep, it's gone to uh, FG. It's gone to a G, and now he's starting to pull back. On the one minute chart, we could be pulling back. I'll be back in a moment. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks, we're back. 
And I want to just go through something here. The list of, of what was mentioned in the den um, a little earlier. So XLK, you see this pattern here? This is right here. It's like uh, reading glasses right there. Double U formation. It always sounds like some kind of a disease. And that says that the XLK is holding really well off the spectacular move, nice consolidation, sideways consolidation, and it could have uh, one or two pops to the upsides at 167. This is the S&P Tech Spider Fund. But the 177.04 level of December of 2021, I mean, this is a bear market, major bear market, and you've got the XLK within points, within 10 points after all that having gone from 177 to 112, and it's come back in the U-shaped formation, that's really good. I, I like that. Now, within that context, um, this consolidation, now let's go to just patterns because this is Technical Friday. NVDA, NVIDIA, it hasn't done the same thing. It's made an H pattern. Now it's making a second H pattern, and I would suggest to you that the pattern you have to think of a little differently. In the XLK, and part of the XLK has NVIDIA, of course, um, it's had that gap, huge gap. And the fact that it's held 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sessions, that's in two weeks' time, it's held above the gap low of the 25th, which is 366.35. I should type that in sometime. Um, it's really positive. But the fact that it hasn't had the impetus within 10 sessions to try to tackle the 41938 level tells me that it's having a high level consolidation and that the eventual outcome of the consolidation is that it'll go under 360 and start to trade there. Time-wise, well, you have to almost double what you've just seen here. So give it another uh, six or seven sessions. And then if it starts to break and close underneath the low of 366, um, then, you, then you're looking at something very different because then it's making lower highs and lower lows. But right at this particular point, there's still just enough upside momentum to say that the next level of resistance on the upside from here is 405 round number high, the high of the 2nd of June. So I'm trading it right now at 395, so that's 10, 10 points. If it closes above that, then you have to look at the left side, our 419. But I would venture to say that 422, 424-ish is kind of upside resistance. And then that then you start to become a lot more vulnerable to the downside. But right now, it's still got that upside thrust to the, the momentum. Is key. The torque was so powerful that the momentum is just holding it up there. That's Amazon is the next one. Uh, Amazon has a little different, it's almost like, a, uh, like a, a, a diamond. I remember once we had someone who typed in to, we didn't have a, a, a Discord, we had a different system at the time, typed into the den. Oh my God, o OMG, he said. Um, the, the black diamond, I think he said black diamond, well he said diamond formation. The diamond, uh, I'm thinking black diamond because I've always got this, this, this story to tell about the black diamond when I was uh, on the bunny slope, uh, being a novice skier, going with my son. And we get off the ski lift and he jumps off the ski lift and he's gone. I'm thinking, oh, okay, Eli, where are you going? I'm looking around for him. He's gone. So I'm now uh, trying to tootle over to the, to the bunny slope. This is in Killington or something out there, one of those big, big mountains and in the northeast. And... There's a sign that says D detour ice. And for some reason, it kind of it still looked like it was guiding me to this next slope. Well, it turned out the next slope was a black diamond. Well, I can tell you, as a novice, it was very interesting. Um, so here we've got the diamond. Anyway, it turned out that the, the diamond formation, I've done a lot of research on this. It means nothing. If you think of it as the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation with an oval, you need more bars to get the oval. Otherwise, it becomes a fulcrum for an upside uh, move. But I've drawn in the, uh, in the in the diamond, and what we're looking at is it says to me that Amazon has had a fabulous move. It's getting a little bit tired. It's holding well. But over a period of arching over in leg C in the weekly chart over a period of about two weeks, I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to trade back in the one-teens 
um, and that's the way I'm looking at it. Even if it pops over 128, 120, I think it, it, it's it's getting ready to have a digestive phase. If you're looking at what's the uh, Apple, Apple's pretty much the same thing. Big spike up at 184.95, around about the 5th or so of June, pulls back, and now it's, it's really struggling, but this is a leg D in the weekly. I'm looking at this, and I'm suggesting that there's going to be another rotation. I think we've got a, a pullback coming up very soon, but look at Caterpillar. Cat this wasn't in the den. This is what I just typed in. Caterpillar goes from horrible at 205, just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about nine sessions ago, and lo and behold, it's gone to a peak D. Uh, yes, a peak D. The weekly chart still doesn't look all that great. And if you put it together with PAVE, which is the the Global X US Infrastructure and Development ETF, going to a leg, a brand new leg B, with all the technicals still strong, and a big cup formation here at 30.30 .30 was the February uh, was the March week of the third high. Uh, it's making this cup formation. Um, so far, this rotation that I've been talking about is really good now. It didn't work for us. I wanted to get out. We're in AI stocks. We're in other things. But we also got these AI stocks, which are really doing fabulously well. But I wanted us to have a kind of a – I like diverse portfolio. So I thought we'd try a stock, a food stock that does GMO, um, non-GMO um, products. And we got in, and we just got taken out. Small percentage stop, but that was my experiment to see, are we able to kind of diversify? And it looks to me like I have to stick with the theme that I've been with for the last couple of weeks, and that you've got to be going into what's working. The idea of going into what not working says that they could have rallies, but those rallies aren't necessarily sustainable. And that puts me into the category of the XLF. The XLF is rallying very nicely. It's into the category of, of, of just being decimated, the whole sector, all that all that way through that February, March into low into April's, uh, just about April's low. Um, and yet, starting to come back a little bit. The weekly chart looks mm, okay. The monthly chart looks mm, not so good. But the daily chart has really been improving, and that includes KRE, which is the regional uh, regional banking ETF. And today it's holding very nicely. I think it looks more preferable chart-wise than the um, XLF. That's just my opinion right now. I should also mention we are long the KRE, but I'm saying I do like it. And it's a sector. It isn't a specific. I, I wanted to try to avoid just for this. It was very hard to tell which stocks within it would actually come out of this very strongly. So I said, this is we'll compromise by getting into the sector. Sometimes I prefer we always get back of Bank of America <coughs> for subscribers over the years. Uh, Bank of America. For maybe seven, maybe even eight years. Every year we've had it's had a fabulous run. Then we get out, we get stopped out on the way down, then we're out completely, and we wait, 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 we get in again. This time I said, I think I'll be back. Thousand. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I mentioned a little earlier, this is where I'd expect some kind of a pullback, but it would be on the one minute chart. The one minute chart has to need the five minute, the five has to need the, the uh, 10 minute chart. So I was, the price was right there. I started drawing in once and I had started doing this, but I, I couldn't because uh, I was doing the program. So this is your left side, right side price time match. And it said by 10.50 this morning, we should uh, hit the 4314 uh, area. Well, it's at right now the low is 43, 1475. So it's a little early, but there's the Chapman Wave uh, inside wedge target support line. I usually make it red and dash, didn't have time to do that. But that says that the finally the 10 minute chart is starting to give back. We looked at nine, is still way over the 14. So it says that 4308 is probably uh, around about the area where the, the nine period moving average will be turning down quite sharply, but it'll be 4.4305 before it actually turns negative. So you, you've got to know your time frames and what you're doing and what you're trading and why. Okay, so let's just get out of that. I just wanted to show you this. And this dash 42.90 level, it's going to be in play all of this uh, over Sunday night, Monday, you watch. We're going to be going in and out, bumping up, uh, you know, testing the support and then resistance, whatever it is. I think it's in play. So let's just go back here. So I'm just running through the um, so uh, the 431 in the SPY is about to get hit, Basil. Uh, time to go into the S&P. Well, look, 431 uh, on a monthly, I've it's broken above the fourth, 427 resistance area in my automated Chapman Wave support and resistance lines. This is the daily. The monthly is 426 something, 426, what is it, uh, 425 and 426. It's gone above that. And the daily has, uh, the monthly has 431.88 as the next resistance levels. And then once it's above that, that's really good. That turns into support. So all I can say is, um, I, I don't, whatever measurement you have, you've got to stick with your methodology. But I'm looking at this on a very short-term basis. And if you're talking about very near-term, you're perfect. That hit, let me show you that that hit it exactly. Look, SPY, high was 431.99. So you said 431, the SPY is about to get hit, Basil. Time to go into SBXS. So if you did that exactly as you typed in, yeah, SBXS. But I would say there is a bias towards buying right now so all you do is you you in your position you're in leg b in the one minute chart of the sbxs and just put in your stop appropriately that's all you can do uh, we don't know if it's going to this is the big turnaround it could be the high of the day for all you know but then you have to go one step if you have got your leg e maybe a peak e in the uh, esm 23 the e mini um 10 minute chart and now it's confirmed it is a peak e uh, wait, I have to wait until the 10-minute bar is finished. It's not finished yet. 
we're at uh, 10.45. Do we still have five minutes? Yeah, I guess we do. So anything can happen. So, yeah, and that says um, you've got that whole area of 4,300 and uh, 4,300. I think it's 4305. Yeah, 4305 will be the support on this on this move if it continues down. So yeah, great. You just do things once one thing at a time. Uh, John says took profits in my QQQ calls as we were close to testing the 65 high. Very nice. Uh, wave three. Uh, it starts with a gap. Four days of balancing market profile into the market as soon as possible on a trending day. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, so I talked right through that. Okay. He has about 43, uh, 26 may have clear sailing to 4,400. Well, you remember, I, I like to go one step at a time. Um, it, it, it stopped at 4,325.50, so, so you were 50 cents away. But, yeah, I, I understand your thinking. Uh, but you, I, I know that you also know that this is, I mean, there's a big difference between 43.26 and 4,400. That those, those points, especially when you're climbing towards the previous highs, uh, that's where a lot of people say, thank God we've got you. I'm getting out after all these months, a year and a half. I'm sitting. I'm finally going to get out of some of my stuff that took a huge dive, 50% dive or whatever it is. MCRB question. Let me just see what that is. MCRB. M MCRB. Yeah, this is um, MCRB is trading at 5.54, uh, down six cents. Uh, what is it? It is something uh, serious therapeutics, I think. I'll have to do something about it. I can't see. It's a blue background, background, and then black tiny printing. All right, serious therapeutics trading at uh, 554. So that you can see the 200 period moving average was a repellent before, a very big repellent. And it's at 576. So that's the area to watch. If you're looking at the weekly chart, these bounces in this U. Make, turning into a W formation says that you want to see the technicals improving now, but they're not. They're weakening. I'd be a little careful of this one. Yeah, it's a quick trade. Maybe yes. Uh, oh, oh, is it to break through the joint. Oh, God, that's it. That was the question. I didn't even read it. I just saw the symbol MCRB. Yeah, will it? Well, I think it's in a struggle. I think it's going to pop once and then come back again uh, until it can start to close above that high of the uh, 8th of May which was at 6.08, uh, I think. Yeah, 6.08. So they can trade in the 6.12 area. I mean trade. I don't mean just pop there and, and pull back. Trade there. That'll be a big difference. That'll say you've got a tidal change on this low that was made. It isn't the low, but it's the low. I'm picking the 26th of May of 4.58. Now the right side should see higher highs and higher lows, but we haven't got there yet. Uh, this is... Yeah, okay. Nice quote here from uh, JX in the den. This is a tr this is a trend. So success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. Very nice. Uh, J JX says I used the Chapman wave rectangle today and it rocked. Thank you. Good. I like that. Uh, I N B I N M B I N M B in something or other. In oh again I can't read it and I didn't type in what it is so I'm just gonna guess I have to squeeze all right here we go I in 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 you know, something right anyway it's trading at in uh, 9.04 up 64 up seven percent so this is look that's your low so let me double check no that's not your low this is your low so peak A B C pulls back starts another underneath it A uh, there, A, B, but that's above the previous C. That automatically goes to the highest letter. That's D. So starting at D, there's your W. We've been so many of these patterns. W becomes, sorry, U becomes a W pattern. It's holding very well. Now the support is at, at 904 right now, 852 to a 852 to 825 is key support. If it takes that out, it starts to hug the 200 period moving average right now. It's moving sharply away from it. And the weekly has got an L at the close of the week on a Friday. That means you've, the nine has finally flipped over to the positive side. This is looking good. Yes. And those long wicks that failed, that's biotech. And I could have taken one look at this and I said, wow, it looks very much like a biotech stock. 
big wicks with the body in the, uh, the the lower range. Yeah, so it's acting very well. Next question is, hope I don't know, I have some more detail. Okay, WBD. WBD is? It is D is? Ah, Warner Brothers. Okay, I haven't looked at this for ages. Hey, that is a nice move. Single leg, A to the outside, a pullback today. Hmm. I'll do a little bit of work on this. Meantime, I think we've got that one minute diving a little bit further. I'll be back. There's that arch formation. Now you've got your peak E in the 10 minute chart. And uh, we have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, my engineer is really up for that actually show. So this is, uh, I just got this from my son. This is, he's in Red Hook, his office is in Red Hook, and he overlooks the, the bay where the uh, Statue of Liberty is, and there it is, a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day in New York. We wanted to see that. All right. So what we're looking at here, WBD, is Warner Brothers uh, Discovery. So huge move up, single leg A. It could pull back a little bit. It's right at the 200 period moving average. And this is interesting because the XLC, which we once had, and then we got out of it, 
uh, we had a profit in that communication services select spider fund um it started to really pull back and then lately it's been acting so well and yet when you look at telephone uh, AT&T and these others in the communications area they are horrible charts so this is interesting so I, I would say yes it's it's acting well if you are long um, I would I would be prepared that at 1374 it could pull back to 1310 or 13 uh, 12 90 uh, but if it can hold above 1350 into Tuesday and if it can just have one little tick going towards the 1450 area, that's going to say it's in play, at least in this particular phase now. So with that said, I think, any questions that I, I think I skipped a bunch of questions. Yeah, so I had a very low Chapman Wave trend gauge on uh, today. And that implies that the very next session, that'll be Monday, the Dow should be negative in the morning. Wow, let's see if that one works. It's got a really high percentage uh, accuracy. Let's see what it does. We need to come back to the ranch. Uh, so far, we're thinking next week's the week that we start to see highs that we've got to assess whether there's going to be a bigger pullback or not. Have a wonderful week.